space. For decades, it's been an uncontested domain, hundreds of miles above the Earth's surface, the ultimate high ground. The United States Air Force has owned this high ground of space for decades. Other nations, other air forces only dream of making such a claim. But what if their dream became reality? Revisionist world powers have a new focus for their aggression. Their target, space. They don't have to dominate it, just disrupt it. Millions feel the effects, banks, airports, infrastructure. Our prosperity could be at risk. And so could this, and this, and them. It's clear. Space capabilities fuel our American way of life and our American way of war. Yesterday's thinking will not defeat tomorrow's challenges. It's time to evolve, to change the way we protect and defend our vital interests in space. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines will all be called to defend the ultimate high ground. We must increase our capacity and capabilities by partnering with our allies, other government partners, and industry. By collaborating, innovating, and integrating, our space capabilities will be resilient. A combat-ready part of the multi-domain warfighting network. We've got a launch. Stand by. Data building. Zooming in on a good Whiskey Charlie 6. Check sources. Intel confirmed. Probable ASAT launch. You have two for data release. This is Sibiris. ASAT launch from Grid Whiskey Charlie 6. I'll copy. Copy. ASAT launch. Initiating threat reaction. Sir, I recommend the mission transfer from Spacecraft 4 to Spacecraft 6. Any attack against our space capabilities Execute. will be met with a deliberate response. Killing track 05877. At a time, place, manner, and domain of our choosing. By working side by side, together. Batteries release. We'll compete, and we'll win. In RU-12, we have good effects on the ground. Ground forces are reporting that threats been neutralized. 